Man, were you in the city um, around the time when Hurricane Katrina happened? Man, we left the day before Katrina, and I went to. That's when I started with Ball of Hope. That was in Texas. Mm -hmm. Bro, like, did you like feel the feel the impact? Like, did you lose a home or lose anything? Lose any family? Like, I mean, my mama lost her house, but like, as in, I was able to get out in time. I packed up and went to Houston. Like my like the the crazy part about it, like I was oh we was already going to Houston. I had just signed with Ball of Falls, so we had damn near I used to damn near be in Houston so much anyway. For sure. There was so like us being there, I think we were there just to do some music and we probably was going back right back to Houston anyway. Cause that's when I just signed with Ball of Falls. Man, I remember <clears> that time. I remember it was so many people like just from New Orleans that came to like our area, our high school and just I know they were just scattered out, but just seeing like the documentary that Spike Lee did, and just during that time, like on the news, it just looked crazy, bro, from the outside looking in. Back to all we could deal with anything. We could deal with So like the way it, I mean, I'm not telling you it wasn't what you saw, but it, it built some too, it built some strong motherfuckers. Motherfuckers start moving everywhere and they survived out there too. No, for sure. For like sure. everywhere you go, they got somebody from New Orleans there. Like that's what it did though. <laughs> yeah. And they they stick out like a soap though. Yeah. Cause they want to, they don't get no f Yeah. Man, bro, speaking of New Orleans, like who who would you put in your top five, man? Uh-huh. Talk to me. Top five. I couldn't do a top five anymore. Or just your top top. I don't know, but like my the the the, the, the motherfucker down there, Jew. Jew underrated. Juvenile? That, see that fucking 400 degrees down, bro, which y'all don't understand. It's a classic. Um, he, Juvenile walked y'all through our whole project. I know it because I was back there, like, Juvenile would tell you where he his haircut. He would tell you about real rock stars, the stores. He would tell you about shit that was really going on. Like, ain't nothing fucking with that dude. Like, he got a pin. I just think, like, as in... Yeah. He do what he want to do, but ain't nothing he can't do. Let's just say that. But ain't nothing he can't do. Shout out to Juve. And he got, he got, especially when it like, and like, you don't want to play with him on no subject basis or nothing like that. He beat you to death. Like, he he rap rap, and he understand tones, pockets, all that. Like, Juve, different. Man, when that high came out, 400, he had, that was, see, like, I, had Jay-Z on his album. I can see this as in, like, even at, at that time, Jew was better than that. Before then? Yes. Like, Jew was better than Han. Like, Han just was things that we were saying, like I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. That dude walked y'all throughout. Like, he had y'all saying everything we were saying to the president. He put that album out in six months. Y'all were saying the same shit we were saying. And it was like, this, this Jew was a motherfucker. People wearing Reeboks, Jabos. Everything <laughs> we was doing, the world was doing. Yeah. There wasn't no impact like that. Not like that. Like, as in, that's what introduced it. Then Wayne kicked that shit like it wasn't nothing. Yeah, that was a special time for sure. I just I think they they them two like at the time when when Jew came, New York was just so dominated. When they accept us, you but said it, you said they weren't said it again. They was just beginning to accept us. By the time Wayne come, he was showing them. So they like he's way different. He's a, 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 you kind of see what I'm saying? Like, and then in that time, like, there was like, all right, we gonna fuck with him. Wow. But Wayne come through that bitch chopping even they niggas down. So they're like, hold on, yeah. nigga fucking with Jay-Z and all this shit? Let's see what the fuck you talking about. Yeah. Man, he, and he smart. But Wayne is a different monster, man. Smart. Spit it to it. Dude, smart. That's two smart rappers. Geniuses. Trust what I'm telling you. That's why you on, you know this, like, they don't tap into a lot of shit. Spit us on with the young. Period. Yeah. Wayne, on with the young. Who would ever thought he would do a project with Jermaine Dupri? He ain't think it. Like, he don't be on that. Like, he be on with the young. Mm. Come with it. 